All right, guys, we're doing a quick knife sale. As the title states, these are high-end custom um, and some very high-end production knives for sale. So if that's not in your budget, I don't want to waste your time. So that's why I put it in the title. So let's just go ahead and start to get into it and look, kind of give you a basis why I'm selling this. I've got two kids that need braces, and braces are not cheap. And I can't believe I'm to that point in my life where my kids need braces. But anyway, so i got to raise some funds, guys, so I can pay for this braces thing and not have to do a payment plan, all that stuff. Just pay for it outright. So I'm going to sell a few of my high-end folders. And you can see there's a lot of folders here. I'm not going to sell all of these. I'm going to list them all. Once I raise enough money, whatever's left over, I'll keep. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start with the uh, Giant Mouse GMP3. This is the bronze pirate edition that is that was sold out in like no time at all. It's literally got bronze handles. It's an awesome knife. I did a review on this one, and it's in pristine condition. Um, has been carried, but you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to tell. And it seemed very light use. M390 blade still. These are completely sold out. You can't get them anymore. Um, I'm just gonna ask what I paid for, which is 375, and that comes with the case and everything. So. The next one up is going to be the my Brian Thai Mini Typhoon. I hate to do this one especially because I waited a good amount of time for this one, but it is one of my more expensive knives, and since I need to get this going soon, I'm um, going to have to make some sacrifices. So this is the Mini Typhoon in S90V steel with a custom bronzed um, handle, titanium anodizing with a dark blue anodized uh, titanium hardware, um, clip point blade, yeah, very, very nice, smooth knife. Um, relatively new. I haven't had it too terribly long. In, in excellent, excellent condition. Has been carried a little bit as well, but you can't buy these anymore. He stopped making the Mini Typhoon, or at least he's not making them at the moment anyway. And I'm just looking to get out what I put into that knife, which is 600 bucks. So, And that comes with the uh, little case he gives you and, and the authenticity card. So... Um, next one up we're going to do is the Jeroz M75. This is in silver twill, which is pretty awesome. Now, I did change the clip to like a deep carry clip, but the stock clip is also included. I'll include both clips. This is AEBL steel, a sheep's foot, um, Warren Cliff blade, very smooth, nice folder. Um, one of the smaller Jeroz knives, but one of the more ex and, uh, affordable as well. I'm going to let that one go for 400 bucks, guys. That's a custom knife for $400. So. The next one up is going to be the True North Knife uh, Flag Sabenza. This is a small Sabenza with a Tanto blade. It's right hand only, so i got to use my right hand. And this has been carried like twice maybe. Um, I think on the 4th of July. <laughs> and maybe one other time. So not carried much. I'll, um, kind of a, you know, it has pretty much looks like a brand new knife. I don't think there's much as far as snail trails goes on the Blade be blasted on the um, polished side. I don't see many, you know, but it could have some marks, but I don't see anything, you know, off the naked eye. S35 VN steel and uh, has not been sharpened or even touched really. Um, 400 bucks on, no, excuse me, 375 on that guy. The next one up is going to be the Gavco spinner. I hate to sell this one too. Um, one of my favorites. And you can't get these right now. They're out of sold out at True uh, Custom Knife Factory. This is super smooth. Um, really awesome Gavco design folder. And we're going to let that one go for... You know, these range anywhere. They're 430 new. They went on sale for like 325 So we'll do 325 on that one. They're not available right now, but 325 comes with a pouch. Extra bearings, all kinds of extra hardware. Okay, um... Last, or not necessarily last, but next is going to be this Hinder XM18, three and a half inch. With this is so decked out, guys. It has all kinds of custom hardware on it. Um, it well, not necessarily custom Rick Hinder hardware. So you've got a copper liner, which is you know additional cost. You have the copper standoffs, the gear pattern, copper standoffs. You have the copper clip, copper light uh, LBS, and copper steel flame bushido um, steel filler tab. This is a 20 CV. They call a spantoon, a harpoon spanto, in working finish. Uh, like I said, it pretty much in fantastic condition. It also has a micarta scale. That is micarta, not G10. Black and micarta G or scale. And I also have an orange G10 scale that will come with it. Plus, I have all the original hardware. So, if you want an X18, this one's totally decked out. The clip has a nice patina going on already. Um, Kind of hate to give this one up too, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. 
there's literally about 680 bucks into this knife with all the additional extras plus the cost of the knife and I think I'm gonna let it go for about 550 which is a crazy deal um, so crazy deal on that customized hinder with extra scales extra liners the cop copper hardware and such um, 550 bucks for that so and last is I hate to do this one too is my neon uh, Shirogarov neon ultralight and s30 v steel yeah this has been um it's the smoothest folder i own by a lot i mean look at that it's like <laughs> stupid stupid smooth i love the size of it um they i don't think they make the s30 v ones anymore i know that they have an l max model now and i think they're like 550 bucks on recon one which is the only us dealer so i'm gonna let that one go for Let's say 475 for the Shirogor of Neon Ultralight. So lots of uh, high-end knives in here, guys. So, Again, no, nothing budget-wise, nothing even under $300. Um, but, you know, I need to, like I said, need to raise some funds. hate to do this, but that's life for you. So no trades, guys, because I'm trying to raise funds for the braces. And um, PayPal on these uh, price does include shipping, does not include PayPal fees. And send me an email as usual. I'll put it in the description if you want to buy a knife. Just comment down below and then, then shoot me an email and we'll work out the details there. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.